Hey everyone, here with another laptop that a lot of creators are interested in. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 4. Let's take a look. Design-wise, this is the typical ThinkPad look. It's black with some red accents. And since this is a ThinkPad, fans of this brand already know that they'll be getting a durable machine. In case you didn't know, ThinkPads are tested against 12 military-grade requirements and more than 200 quality checks to make sure they run in extreme conditions. What's new on this generation of the X1 Extreme is the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, and I'm glad that they finally moved to this aspect ratio from the previous 16 by 9. I like this because you have a taller screen. The bezels are not as thin as the Dell XPS 15, but this is a big improvement compared to other ThinkPads. This display is 16 inch 2560 by 1600, which is fine, but if you have the budget and need a sharper display, you can get the 3840 by 2400 display in touch or not touch versions. I like that the display is not glossy. It's great if you're working at an office or a coffee shop with large windows. This screen is bright enough at 400 nits, but I need to put on max brightness if I'm outdoors or if I'm near a window. I also like that I can push the display all the way back. On top of the screen is also a better front facing camera. It's full HD, so your face will be much clearer in video calls. There's also a physical camera cover if you want to make sure that the camera is really off. You have an option for Windows Hello Face Unlock, but unfortunately this review unit doesn't have it. I highly recommend getting the Face Unlock option because the fingerprint scanner on this laptop is frustrating to use. The left side has the power input, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4, HDMI 2.1, and headphone mic combo. It's good to have plenty of these options, so I don't need to carry around dongles. The right side has an SD card reader, two USB type A slots, and a Kensington lock slot. Now onto the keyboard. This is very good for typing, plenty of travel. Now I don't use the track point, but I know there are big fans for this. It doesn't affect my usage, so it doesn't bother me. The trackpad is a bit small, but that's because it gives way to the three mouse buttons here on top. I mostly use my MX Master 3 mouse, so this doesn't bother me either. Again, TrackPoint users love this type of input, especially on the field. So I've been using this laptop for a few weeks now and I'm still not used to how close the page up and page down buttons are to the arrow keys. I still accidentally press them all the time and wish they weren't there. The speakers are fine, they're loud and clear for watching YouTube videos and Netflix movies. I'm not blown away either, like I said, they're fine. The bottom of this laptop are screws, which you can easily loosen to give you access to upgrade your RAM and SSD. This laptop came with 16 gigs of RAM and I was easily able to upgrade to 64 gigs. When setting up this laptop, it gave me options to install Windows 10 or Windows 11. Of course, I went with Windows 11. I'm happy that there's not a lot of pre-installed apps. There's the Lenovo Vantage app, which you use for BIOS and firmware updates. It's also where you can adjust settings like switching the function and control keys. There's also the Dolby settings app for your speaker settings, but I just leave this on dynamic or automatic. Editing on this laptop is great. I can edit my Canon 4K 10-bit videos smoothly with Premiere Pro. The last video I uploaded on this channel, the Dell XPS 15 review, that was edited on this machine. It was five and a half minutes long and it only took two and a half minutes to export. I don't often play games, but when I do, it's usually Call of Duty. The NVIDIA GeForce 3060 with six gigs of RAM handles the game well. I'm playing on high settings and don't see any issues with multiplayer. It's good to know that I can game on this laptop if I wanted to. You will definitely hear fan noise while playing games or editing videos, so I suggest wearing headphones. So let's talk battery life. I'm usually plugged in when I'm working at my desk, but when I do need to unplug, I see about four and a half hours of battery life. Not bad, should be good enough for an afternoon at the coffee shop or working while commuting if necessary. One thing to keep in mind is that the power adapter is pretty big, so it will take up some space in your bag. The X1 Extreme starts at about $1,700 and can go up depending on what specifications that you choose. Whatever you go with, make sure you get the Windows Hello option because I'm not happy with the fingerprint scanner. You might also save some money if you upgrade the RAM and SSD yourself. So that's the ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 4. If you're a curator, this is probably on top of your list. I highly recommend this if you're looking for something that you know you'll be using for a few years because ThinkPads are more durable than the competition. And for the specs that you're getting, it's also not too thick or heavy. And if you want to upgrade your RAM and storage, that's also easy to do. 
And since this is a Windows laptop, you can actually game on your free time. Now, I'm not saying it's perfect. For example, if you're not a trackpoint user, the trackpad might feel small and the keyboard deck also gets warm to touch and the fans get loud when editing or gaming. But for most people, especially creators, I think the X1 Extreme Gen 4 is a great recommendation. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.